Welcome back to Villefranche sur Mer, to the channel across the channel. Today we've got a special treat for you because we're leaving the village. We're going to get on our trusty scooter and we're going to ride all the way to the beautiful village of Saint Paul de Vence. Saint Paul de Vence, where Churchill painted, where Dirk Bogart wrote some of his books, and where Richard and Judy, friends of this channel, have a villa. Remember when you last saw Richard and Judy? Quick reminder to uh, hit the button and subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications when a new video drops twice a week, two videos a week, all about the French Riviera. What's not to like? Two small yachts in the harbour. Amadea, that one's called. I don't think it's named after Mozart, but it might be. Sight, a plane climbing into the sky from Nice Airport. Wonder where it's going. You know, the great bohemian dancer Isadora Duncan died on the promenade des Anglais. True. It's a quite weird story because she, uh, she saw this red sports car in Cannes and she decided she wanted one. So she got her friend to take it into a garage here in uh, Nice and they, uh, they hired this red sports car. Now at the time Isadora Duncan was very famous for dancing with scarves, you might remember. Anyway, she gets in this sports car and she tazzers off down the Promenade des Anglais and the wind blows a bit like it's doing now and it blows her scarf behind her and the scarf unfortunately gets stuck in the rear axle of the car and it garrots her. It's a true story. Gertrude Stein, who said at the time of Isadora Duncan's death, she said, a little affectation can be a dangerous thing. Me and Mr. Boo have a game. We try and guess the price of these hotel rooms. 75, it's a bargain. I'm not sure it's the poshest hotel in Nice. Sometimes you can get it for under 50 a night. And I've heard tell it's occasionally what? occupied by oh, ladies no. of the night. See over there in the distance the giant shopping mall cap 3000, which has, uh, if you've not been here in the last sort of 18 months, has been completely refurbished. We're just sort of coming into Cancer Mare now and there's a strange thing with Cancer Mare because it always stinks of curry. I mean in a good way, but there's a giant curry house just above the bed. Yeah, quick recommendation, that little uh, place there is a bouvet uh, and it does, does good pan bagnats. It's right on the beach, dead cheap. Um, really great place to come if you're uh, cycling through uh, Cancer Mare and you fancy a quick pit stop. Oh, market. Oh, it's, it looks like the market that sort of tours up and down the coastline. Anybody who's been to Pontemil in Italy, there's a giant one on a Friday. Uh, and they it tends to move up the Italian coastline. This looks very similar, or it may even be the same market. This market's right alongside the Hippodrome, which is uh, where they do the trotting races with uh, horses and carriages. It's 
it's actually quite a good night out. You can come and you can uh, have a sort of package, have a meal in the restaurant and uh, gamble away all your brass as I did. Technical error, we're going to do a bit of a Yui. We're heading past the uh, oh, Polygon shopping centre, we nearly got killed then. Uh, which is another relatively new sort of indoors, outdoor shopping centre up here, very nice. Uh, and uh, if you're so minded, there's a giant Primark, it's the only Primark down here, so if you want, if you want some cheap socks, Primark's the place to come here in Polygon. This video is brought to you in association with Primark. Sock suppliers to the people. Hard to believe, but there was a period during the lockdown in the winter when we, we cycled up here for something to do and um, I have to say going to that McDonald's was a real highlight. <laughs> It actually felt like we'd been somewhere for a meal, even though it was a takeout only, and you had to sort of sit on a um, on a wall to have it. I've got a feeling that sculpture there with the head is is must be by the same guy who did uh, the head in Nice, which is the sort of famous office block in the shape of a head that's attached to the. Um, art gallery. We're beginning to see some uh, green and some hills, although of course it, they're not that green right now. It's been quite a drought period and uh, they've had very, very bad fires down in the VAR in the last uh, 10 days or so. I think almost 8,000 hectares have been destroyed. Two, two people have lost their lives. And the Canada Air Jets, which are these fantastic planes which dip down into the bay and uh, scoop up the water and then put out the flames, have been working at full tilt. I've seen videos on Facebook of sort of seven or eight jets going in, in uh, all, all, all day and all night to douse the flames. So we're now coming up to the area where uh, Richard and Judy actually live. So, um, see what happens. Mr. Boo's got a flea in his ear. We're about to have a stop. Has it come out? Yeah, it's like a bug thing. A bug in your ear? Yeah. Oh, so bad. of curious sculptures on the roundabout up here. Of course, St. Paul of Vaughan's quite a big artsy area. Quite a few commercial galleries up here and uh, last time I was here there were quite a lot of um, art shops in St. Paul de Vaughan's. So hopefully we'll check some of those out, see what the art's like. Behind me there was the uh, turn off for the Mecht Fondation, which is a uh, a sort of sculpture park, uh, an art gallery, and it's really, really good. I think it's one of the best uh, art things down here, really. Uh, and it's also a terrific sort of modernist building uh, that was uh, built by the, I think, the Mecht family. Uh, so Fondation Mecht, look it up, check it out. We might do a, might do a vlog from there one day if we save up. able to make out behind me the first sight of St. Paul de Vence. So we've arrived in Vence, St. Paul de Vence. We're just going to park, I think, near to the famous Column d'Or restaurant. Mr. Boo's still got a flea in his ear. Do you think that's Richard? Mm, maybe. It's hard to tell him mass, isn't it? Right. Let's go into St. Paul de 
Savons and explore the magic therein. Try not to fall over. There's a church. We like a church. Let's go and have a look. Have a nose. You can't beat a French church. I tell you what, it's so hot in here. I think these two ladies are texting their maker. say usually these kind of churches are cool places to come in terms of air this is like an absolute song <laughs> god it was so hot in there merci intrigue round every corner and another knickknack shop And so what we're going to do is head into a restaurant that um, we've had a tip off about. It's called Sabai Sabai. The clue might be in the title. I don't think it's French, at least not traditional French. Actually, we've come to a Thai restaurant in Saint Paul de Vence, but there's a reason because we've come to Sabai Sabai because two of our subscribers, Kevin and Angie, came here about seven or eight weeks ago and recommended it. Um, and it's certainly in a fantastic location right by the church, you see, right on cue. Anyway, let's see what the food's like. And I am going to get, did I say yellow curry or red, red curry? curry? No, red no. curry. Red no, red yellow. Red. Red, red. red. Merci beaucoup. Oh, look at that. Papaya salad. My Thai friends will know just how obsessed with papaya salad I am. Almost as much as pan banyan. So, gonna try the papaya salad. That's good. Very good. Spicy, acidic, um, a bit of sweetness from the palm sugar, um, peanuts you can taste. It's good authentic in St. Paul de Vos. So papaya salad is one of my favorite things in the world and I love making it. If I actually brought um, a papaya bowl, which are these giant bowls that the Thais used to pound the uh, ingredients. I brought it all the way back from uh, Chiang Mai in Thailand. Well, Mr. Boo brought it in his suitcase. But I'm um, just thinking if you'd like to see me make a papaya salad, if you'd like to see that video, just drop me a comment in the uh, comments below and uh, we could have a papaya night. Anything's possible on this channel in France. Merci. Fantastic. So there's the red curry. What are you having? Uh, pineapple fried rice with pork. Ooh. Pineapple fried rice with pork. Mm. 
Mm. That's lovely. Very, again, sweet heat. It's not, this is not a sort of uh, fake Thai curry. This has got proper heat, just like the papaya salad's got proper heat. Um, so if you come here and you're not a fan of spice, you might have to ask them to tone it down. But um, remember pork. Mm. Really good. Really good. What's that, Mr. Boo? It's this is pineapple fried rice with pork and cashew nuts served inside a pineapple, and it's yummy with juicy pineapple and crunchy nuts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Was that Richard and Judy? No. So, do you think Chagall's tomb is this way? I think it's down here below the ramparts. Ooh, it's very narrow, this ramparts. I've got these new specs, which is making me... They're my first ever, um, what do you call them? Progressives. And this is day two. Merci of wearing my progressives. Um, and I'm a bit wobbly. <laughs> but they're very good progressives, thanks to Cubits of London, who sent them out to me in eight days. Eight days from the test to get in here. Good old cubits. I'm intrigued as to why Chagall is buried in St. Paul de Vence because from what little I know of Chagall, I thought he was Jewish and I presumed he would be buried in the Jewish cemetery in Nice. But maybe there's a secret we don't know. Let's go and find out. Well, as usual, it's a very lovely cemetery with the, the best views. I always say that the French, the French gift the dead with the best views <laughs> because all their traditional cemeteries are, tend to be very high up above towns, above villages, like the wonderful one in, uh, in Nice on the, the chateau, which overlooks the rooftops of the old town. But um, I wonder if this building at the end is Mr. Chagall's. No, it appears that this is a piece of art. It's rather lovely, but it's definitely not Chagall's tomb. If in doubt, check out Google. We're now looking on Google for Chagall's grave. Google knows everything. Any news on Chagall? Well, it's definitely in here. Yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like a tomb, so that doesn't oh. really narrow it down. No, but we'll find it. Like, is there not a plot number? So is it this way? It's definitely th on this aisle because it's not it faces, a supermarket. It faces that way and there's a rosemary plant on it. Well, here's a rosemary plant. Oh, and here he is. Mark Chagall, 1887 to 1985, 98. Vava Chagall, 1905 to 1993. And now we've discovered, having spent 25 minutes in the baking sun. A map, which I imagine, there it is. <laughs> 152 is Mr. Chagall. We could have gone straight to him. And I was talking earlier in the video about the Fondation Mecht. Well, there is the Mecht family plot there at uh, 210. And Jere is at 377. There you go. When did you last come to St. Paul? I don't think I've been for about seven years, maybe eight years. Oh. And is it nicer than you remember? About yeah. the same or worse? I think it's nicer. I think 
even though it's a bit busy. Yeah. It's actually a lot quieter than when we've been here before. And there's a lot less. I mean, it's, it's mainly a French crowd, actually. It feels not so much local, but certainly French tourists. What do you think about the place? Do you think it's a bit of a, bit of a tourist cliché now? No, I don't think it is. I don't think it's a tourist cliché. I think it is it's super pretty. It's very romantic. Romantic? Yeah, what else? It's not as Disney as Airs, is it? I think, is what, is what I like about it. Yeah, I don't know why that is. I think you're right. I mean, you know, as, as is a medieval village, it's the same, it's the sort of same game. I mean, uh, but yeah, I know what you mean. It's just, I don't know why. It could just be that we've been to Airs a lot more because it's a lot closer. And so this feels, I don't know, more different. Yeah, maybe. What about the shops? They're full of shite. <laughs> Are they all, though? I would say anything that is selling any kind of art is full of shite. It's a very abrupt thing to say. I, there was a man down there who was um, doing stuff, I would say, a little bit in the style of Churchill. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought, I mean, listen, they're never going to win the Turner Prize, but I thought they were nice. You could, they were livable with. I mean, it's commercial art. It's not. They're, they're not trying to win awards, are they? Good job. <laughs> What about the nugget shop? We like the nugget shop. I like the nugget shop. I like an artisanal. Artisanal nugget shop. An artisanal experience. No, I mean, there are, you know, there are definitely knick-knack shops, but there are also just wonderful corners. You come around like this one up here by the fountain, which I think is the famous fountain that Churchill painted, isn't it? Yeah, I saw and, it in uh, the crown. Is it in the crown? <laughs> uh, and it's just genuinely beautiful. Um, and magical. Yeah, I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. All right, there's quite a lot of people sat around it and all the rest of it, but you can see this behind me. It's just absolutely fantastic and magical. Although that water does make you want to wee wee a bit. There are also some nice shops. I mean, look, this is lovely sort of pasta and truffle oil and uh, does nice things like pasta boxes and things. This is not, you know, it's not a sort of plastic model of the village, is it? No, that's nice. I mean, it's quite expensive. So this is what I love about St. Paul de Vaults, this bull pitch that is right in the centre of the town. If you go and dine at that uh, little uh, restaurant called Café de la Place, I think, uh, which is probably the oldest place here, very traditional, you can watch the the guys, mostly guys here, play bulls of an afternoon. Patank. Yes. Cheers. 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 Take your eye out with that spoon. Well, I have to say, after a fantastic long hot walk around Saint Paul de Vence. This is where I recommend you end up. Cafe de la Place. If you come here about three or four o'clock when lunch is over, it's nice and calm, nice and shady. And right behind you, you've got Patank. You've got the guys playing bulls. It doesn't get more quintessentially French or more particularly quintessentially south of France because of course Patank is a big, big game around here. Um, and was actually invented down here. Uh, it was invented by a guy who, um, he had arthritis and he couldn't, he couldn't quite get down to do proper bowling, like sort of English long green bowling where you have to get down to the floor. And so he invented this game that you, you did this and you didn't have to bend as much. You see, you learn something every day in this channel. Worth every penny. But 
Did you have a nice day, Mr. Boo? Yeah, it's been lovely. In spite of all the filming? In spite of all the filming and in spite of the heat, it's been a lovely day and it's a lovely place to come. And it's ages since we've been together. Mm. You came with your dad About quite a few years ago. Ten years ago, yeah. Yeah. No, it is, it's, um, you know, it is, um, it's a South of France cliche. It's like Es Village, it's like the Negresco, it's like the Matisse Museum, it's like the Eiffel Tower in Paris. But a cliche is only a cliche because it's a truism overused. It doesn't mean that the place still isn't fantastic. It just means that it's on the tourist trail. It means that if you come on the wrong day, it's going to be very, very busy. If you come and cruise ships are in, it's going to be even busier. So try and choose a good time to come. Uh, do come for lunch. Do stick around and come down here and spend some time with the bull's pitch soaking up the atmosphere because I think that this really is quite special. And um, do hit the button and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. And don't forget, you can buy us a drink. Just click the link in the description below and you can buy us a pint or a Pepsi Max. But in all seriousness, every penny helps the channel grow. So, from us here in a very hot, steamy sample de Vence, we're going to just sit back, enjoy the afternoon's bowls, and uh, sip coca lights. Bonjour, everyone. Look, finally, it's Richard and Judy in the roller. Look, look, you see Judy on the left. 